Over here on the north side, Roosevelt Watson and his wife Shawana Brooks have created an art exhibit that is open to everybody and people are traveling from all around Florida to check out the Six Feet Away Gallery. Six Feet Away Gallery basically is this um, public art space that was born out of quarantine. What we've tried to do here is create something that's open for everybody, but it really started at the behest of wanting to talk to our neighbors about what we do as artists and creators. So we don't, we're not so good at landscaping, we decided to put some art out into our yard just to see if that would attract people coming over, and I think it did a little bit more than that, so it's become now a space for uh, racial talk and, and dialogue about social inequities and things that are going on right now, but also that things that went on previous to show those connections. That's Shawana Brooks, founder and curator of the Six Feet Away Gallery on the North Side. This is a small insert from her husband, Roosevelt Watson's Waymaker series. Uh, it's about historical uh, figures and their allies that have made con great contributions to uh, our society at large. Uh, Roosevelt, this focuses on astrology. Explain. Well, it ties into the zodiac because it's a relationship that all of us have that um, is a stream of consciousness no matter what. You know what I mean? You might just call it a little bit different or you might don't study it, but it's just a passageway that connects us all, our, our zodiacs. There is a piece on Earth of White who launched a Christmas drive back in the day. We'll go into that in the long form chat. In the meantime, the couple break down why they opened up the gallery in their backyard. You know, growing out of our, our need and our love and our want for gallery and museum spaces. You know, and since COVID happened, you know, there's, there's no more space. And, you know, being artists and being creative, we enjoy those spaces and enjoy putting those spaces together. And uh, we have a, a little son and he began to enjoy those spaces because we raised him in those spaces. Pretty much. And so now it was just, He's in the house with it, but he has a lot of energy, so he has to come outside. Right. So the outside needed activation. And so this was a way to activate the outside, plus still get community conversation because, you know, people still need people to talk to. Because the thing that we know is even right now, artists have been so essential to us getting through this time. But because of everything happening and them losing their livelihoods, because there's no social activity going on, they're not making anything right now, and we forget how essential that they are, not only to our communities and to our neighborhoods, but they are to our society. So we also wanted to continue to talk within these community conversations about how artists are essential. And right now, when so many people need to listen, and especially listen to black people, we know that black artists have a really good way of talking through their work and, and making that connection a little bit more easier. And from the random conversations they were having, a new idea was born. A little bit organically, we saw people again would want to come over and as we would talk about the art, they would want to get a little bit more connected to it. And we didn't want to take that away. We did it very early on, but then we thought like, should we continue it? And we saw that the community really responded. So now, twice a week on Wednesdays and Fridays, and you can also find this information on our website, we hold what are called community conversations. Um, from about three hours at that time, Anybody's just welcome to come up, to come back out to the gallery, to the yard, and Roosevelt engages them about questions that they have about the art, talks to them a little bit more about the piece. There are a few nuggets from this conversation in the extended edit posted on our Facebook page. Feel free to watch and join in. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live.